lovely to see you, and I immediately award you the prize for the biggest hair of anyone I've ever interviewed. That's the nicest thing you've ever said to me. <laughs> Thank you. Can you just talk us through the, the look? Well, I stopped by for fish and chips, and I just started you know, putting things in my hair. <laughs> no, actually, we are I'm very inspired right now by uh, older uh, classical artwork, and I've been looking at the Venus de Milo, and I thought it would be fun for my fans, especially during Applause, my single now, to be the Botticelli Venus de Milo in motion. So, so she's coming to life through me. Can I ask you how you are? Oh, I'm fantastic. I'm really happy and... Being back in the UK has been so exciting, and yesterday during rehearsal, I just was having the best time because I, I just had surgery like six months ago, I think it was, and my muscles are still waking up as I'm dancing. What was the nature of the injury? Because, we, you know, people were saying it was... You were close to having a hip replacement. Well, it was just repeated use, and I work, you know, I work really hard, and I don't have a really, uh, I don't really have a threshold for pain, meaning I, I can take, take a lot of it, and I just kept going. When I hear those applause, I don't feel anything, and I just kept going out on stage and doing the show, and one night in America, I just started to feel some pain, and that was after 99 shows. I had a crater in my hip and a, a labral tear, but it's all fixed now. But anyone who's had a, a serious injury knows that feeling of, you know, thinking, am I doing too much too quickly? That kind of feeling. Yeah, for sure, but I think the fear was more before that I would never be able to do this again. And Did I was, you really think that way? Did you think it was that severe? I was nervous, sure. I mean... When the tour ended, I loved my fans more than anything, and I love making music, and I, I surely love being a star for everyone, but I am I'm more love being an entertainer. What I'm talking about with applause is pure adrenaline, pure love, an energy that is beyond a buzz. It's so much greater than any addiction or fixation I've ever had to overcome. It's... It's something that is rooted in love, and that is really what I learned during this break. I, I learned that it's not a fix. Is there a downside to that in, in terms of needing, you know, needing that from people? Do you, do you understand what yes, I mean I by do. that? Yes, I do. I think that there's definitely a downside to it if you're really focused on the attention as opposed to what you're offering the audience, if that makes sense. I think where it becomes unhealthy is when the obsession's not rooted in hard work, when the obsession's rooted in just camera flashes and fame. When you get addicted to the fame. Yes. Thank you so much for your time. Be careful as you stand up. I know. I'm worried about I the got hair. Knock, I, I got my hair cut in your lights at least three <laughs> times as I walked in. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.